या बी अभाव और नहीं ट्वेल्थ लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इनवर्स ऑफ एम मैट्रिक्स एंड रोयल एलिमेंटरी रो ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस लेट इनवर्स ऑफ एम मैट्रिक्स लेट ए इज सम एम बाई एम मैट्रिक्स देन बी इज ऑन एम बाई एम मैट्रिक्स कॉल्ड ए लेफ्ट इनवर्स ऑफ ए इफ बी ए इक्वल टू एन सी इज ऑन एम बाई एम मैट्रिक्स कॉल्ड राइट इनवर्स ऑफ ए इफ ए एस इक्वल टू एम Where B is the left inverse, C is the right inverse. Which is left side, left inverse, right side, right inverse. Some example. Let A equal to one come one two. That's a uh, one by two matrix. We define B equal to one zero, or you can take any another one. Two minus one by two. Then What the AB? This is a two by one. Outcome is one by one matrix. Now multiply AB, we'll get one or whatever. But but we cannot get but we cannot get BA equal to, BA equal to eight. Now you can observe BA BA equal to B is the one zero. One zero whatever you take is the one two. Now multiply this one. One two zero zero. We'll get. It's a two way. It's not B one. It's not. We not get I two. That means here exist B is the right inverse, but it's not left inverse. Suppose. Suppose. Suppose there exist. There exist B. Such that B A equal to I two. That means there exists some left inverse. We'll see what happens. B A equal to I two. Now take I am taking that some um, minus two one. This one can I write I two into minus minus two one. I two I two is B A minus two one. This one B into A is two comma. To minus two, one. I multiply these two matrices. B into two into minus. Sorry, take better. So here is one two, one two. The minus two plus two zero. That is zero. Check contradiction. We are getting contradiction. The matrix has left inverse, but it does not has right inverse. But here is a Right inverse is there, but it's not exist left inverse. May it uh, a matrix has a uh, left inverse, but it may not have right inverse. No matter. So now, if inverse exists like that, suppose A is invertible, that means has an inverse. If there exist an n by n by n matrix such that A B equal to B A equal to I A, that means the left inverse, right inverse, and left inverse both are same matrix. Means the same matrix. A must be a square matrix, but here we take an A is M by N matrix. When that M by N matrix either exists left inverse or right inverse, will not exist. If it is invertible, means that both a, that A must be square. Now some small lemma. We let A is A is a B on N by N matrix. If there exists on N by N matrix B and C such that A B equal to I N and C A equal to I N, then B equal to C. Suppose a matrix has left inverse and right inverse. There exist that both are same. When that A is a square matrix, yeah. that is, if A is left inverse and right inverse, then they are equal. Now the proof simple, the lemma proof. Suppose take C, C can write I, C into I N, C, but I N equal to A B. That one you can see in C uh, A B. This is matrix such as asset product. C, C into cannot be. The C A is I N. I N into B. That same as B. And therefore, B equal C. So, when the matrix has inverse, left inverse and right inverse, they both are same. When the square, it's non-square, it's not possible. When the square, the if it has a left inverse and a right inverse, they are same. A is invertible. Then the inverse is unique. 
that we need the inverse of a by denote the inverse of a by a inverse that is a into a inverse equal to a inverse into a equal to i. So last lecture we saw that we know this a into adjunct of a adjunct of a into a equal to determinant of a into i. Yeah, now suppose if uh, a is non singular, determinant of a is non zero, then can I divide with mod a? The non zero, can I write adjunct of a mod a equal to adjunct of a divided by mod a into a equal to i. So now I have compared these two equations. In place of a inverse is adjunct of a, therefore a inverse equal to adjunct of a by a. Yeah. By using this formula, you can find that inverse of a mod. I think already you used this formula. Once again, the finding inverse of a matrix for square matrix can go for so many methods. This is one of the method. So after discussing uh, elemental operation, I give one more method. So now some properties. If a and b two invertible matrices, then inverse of a inverse itself. A b inverse is b inverse into a inverse, but it's not same. That in a b inverse is product of b inverse into a inverse, b inverse and a inverse, not product of a inverse b inverse. This is not same. Now transpose inverse same as the inverse transpose. You can take by example, or you can prove this easily. A conjugate inverse is in A inverse conjugate. This one. See where in this case, see A is non-zero. Determinant is non-zero. That inverse exists. If determinant of A is zero, it's not inverse is does not exist. This quantity is not defined. That means A is must be non-singular. When the A is non-singular, inverse is exist. Otherwise, not exist. Suppose we take example. Suppose example. Find inverse of one 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 zero one two one two four. Now find the inverse. Suppose take let a equal to one 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 zero one two one two four. First to find the determinant. Now determinant of a equal to now go for better there zero is there better to go for first column that one into now remove column this one the determinant of this two better matrix four minus four minus zero into this is zero plus one into uh, zero zero minus one okay oh, go for this one sorry two minus one two minus one this is equal to one. Yeah, not equal to zero. Determinant of a not equal to zero. Yeah, therefore a inverse exists. Now find the cofactor matrix. Cofactor matrix. What is cofactor matrix? C. I'm writing directly. Yeah, now find the cofactor of first element. First element means we know when you are finding cofactor, each element you get power. This is a positive minus one power one plus one square positive. This is a negative minus one power one plus two minus one power three negative. You get alternative plus minus plus minus plus minus alternative will get a first one cofactor. Now determinant of this one four minus zero. Now uh, cofactor of this one remove first row second column uh, zero and four zero minus two minus two but minus of minus two. two. Now cofactor of this element zero. Minus one, but again plus. That is minus. Cofactor of zero. Remove this one. Four minus two, two. But this is minus. Uh, Cofactor of one. Four minus one. Four minus one. Three. They are positive. Three. The negative means is positive. Uh, this one. Two minus one. Two minus one one. But this element is negative minus one. Uh, this one. Two minus one one. Positive. Uh, Positive, negative, positive again. Two minus one. This element is two negative. So negative, positive, negative again. Negative. This one on my one, uh, one the positive. 
this way. This is it. Therefore, urgent of A equal to C transpose. Transpose of a cofactor matrix. This is equal to 0, 2, minus 1, minus 2, 3, minus 1, 1, minus 2. Yeah. Hence, A inverse equal to urgent of A divided by determinant of A. Is equal to 1 by 1 urgent of A 0 minus 2 1 2 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 the same as there is no problem this is 2 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 this is the inverse so now you want to check this is correct or not take this product a into a minus 1 it must be i so you are not getting the product is identity we did some that simple question you have to reach it okay. this is the way to find the inverse of a matrix next some elementary row operations already we studied this elementary row operations now again we will discuss there are three elementary row operations on m by n matrix over the field of the multiplication of any row of a by a non-zero scalar c that means if you take any matrix you have to multiply this row by some number some non-zero number suppose you want to take 1 2 3 suppose you are apply an r1 2 into r, r1 means that first row multiply with two times whatever r2 the second row multiply next replacement of the ith row of a by row plus c times row j c is any scalar and i not equal to j suppose you want to apply an r2 that r2 plus uh, 2R1 like that means R2 plus multiply R1 with two times and add to R2 like that. Next interchange of any two rows interchange R1 to R2 uh, suppose you are uh, interchange the R1 R2 now right R in place of R1 is R2 in place of R2 is R1 interchange from definition if A and B are M by N matrices over the field F we say that B is a row equal to A. If B can be obtained from A by a finite sequence of elementary row operations. Suppose if A is any matrix, suppose you are applying some row operations, some R10 or 12, whatever, some finite number of row operations, we get some matrix, another matrix B. Then this matrix is called row equal to A. Yeah, this is the way. Now our column, elementary column operations also there, same way. But we are discussing only we are using only row operation. That's why we discuss row operation. Same thing um, uh, we can apply on columns also. Some example. Let A equal to this matrix using elementary row operations. Transform A into identity matrix. They are given A. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 2, 2, 4, 4. This is A. Now he is asking, uh, asking to convert to identity. This is the identity 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now you have to transform to identity. Now apply the operations. See now here first element is 1 is there, no need to write. Suppose it's a 2 or 3 there, now first convert to 1. Now you have to convert to these two elements are 0. Now apply an R1, an R2. Now this is 0 means when it's 0, apply R2 plus R1. Now again, you can apply it at R3 also. What is the R3? R3. When it is 0, multiply R1 row 2 times and subtract. Now outcome that 1, 2, 3, 0. Add this to 2. 2 plus 3, 5. Now subtract. Multiply with 2 and subtract. 0. 4 minus 4, 0. 4 minus 6, minus 2. Now again, uh, second, this element is 1, num r2, now multiply with 1 by 2 and apply an r2, what will get 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 5, 0, 0, minus 2. Now using this second rule, now convert to this term 0, now that will apply, now on r2, r1, r1 minus 2, R2. If you use this operation, that's 1, 0. You multiply with the 2, 10, 3 minus 10, 
minus 7 0 1 5 0 0 minus 2 now here is minus 2 is there now convert to 1 and apply an R3 minus 1 by 2 into R3 this will get 1 0 minus 7 0 1 5 0 0 1 so now using this one, convert to this two term zero. Now apply on R1, R1 minus plus 7 R3 and apply on R2, R2 minus 5 R3, 5 R3. Now we get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the identity. Now we are converted to identity. This is the way to convert to identity. So now by using this elementary option, we can find the inverse also, inverse multi. Suppose we take a is a 3 by 3 point, we take 3 by 3, we take i3. Now apply row operations. Whatever apply row operation, apply same operation on i3. We'll get some outcome is it's convert to i3 and this is the some matrix B, where the B is inverse of A. Now we have row operations, convert to this A matrix to identity. By the row operation, we will get some matrix that is the inverse of A. So this is the called Gauss, Gauss method, Gauss, um, Gauss Jordan method, finding inverse by Gauss Jordan method. So you can find inverse any method. So now I give two more problems. Try these problems. If any doubts, you can contact me. So now we stop here. Thank you.